This is a progress update, the Recovery Act at work at the Savannah River site. After months of planning and preparation work, a significant Recovery Act milestone took place at the Savannah River site, the demolition of the K Reactor Cooling Tower. The tower was built in 1992 to cool the water used by the once active reactor in support of national defense initiatives. It's one of the many facilities that under the Recovery Act uh, we're taking this opportunity that we have to deal with them to reduce a long-term liability of the taxpayer and at the same time provide some economic stimulus for the local community. Standing more than 450 feet tall and 345 feet wide at its base, the tower posed a unique challenge to SRS project managers tasked with completing the demolition of the massive concrete structure. To prepare for the demolition, Nearly 4,000 holes were drilled at strategically selected spots on the tower and loaded with explosives. The charges were detonated in a controlled fashion involving precise sequencing and timing to ensure the tower falls in a selected impact zone. Not only did the structure fall right within its footprint, which we wanted, but the breakage is good, which will um, expedite the debris removal. The resulting rubble will be transported to an on-site landfill for permanent disposal. For more information on the Recovery Act at the Savannah River site, visit www.srs.gov forward slash recovery. I'm Tom Cody reporting.